Hello everybody, it's Tyrone and it's episode 20 and we're back here again. Uh, yep, we talked about this. Blah, 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 blah. There's a dude walking around down here. It's a journal. Uh, I haven't come for the fishing. Why don't you fish at night? What happened to the last fisherman? So why are you here? Okay, yep. That's true. Uh, why are you really here? Mistrust is a tool for survival, but it is not I who happened upon your secret fishing ground. I must go. This is not any place for the ignorant to linger after nightfall. If you remain here, feel free to examine this fishing gear for anything relevant to what you're looking for. Farewell. I trust we will meet again in some other, f some form or another. Okay. There is a, there's a chest that's this journal of a fisherman that has been left exposed to the elements. Most of the pages are either stuck together or the ink is so much so badly that the journal... Fisherman's barely legible scribblings are completely unreadable. The last few pages of the journal mo are remain mostly dead. Yep. This is the place that drunk Higgsbond told me about. Found two bodies to salvage just walking along the shore, and I'm about to fish another out of the water. Don't know which boat these sailors drowned off of, and I don't care. They went to their watery graves with their pockets full of gold. Strange fella, fella came out of nowhere today, some bloke named Fentamy. Took an interest in my fishing and warned me not to stay here when it gets dark. Crazy talk. But I chased him off with a few choice insults. I was here first, so I get so I get first rights to salvage. Waited here since morning and nothing... But then, in the late afternoon, a pair of rich bodies bobbed up. Maybe the light towards dusk plays tricks on sailors, and they crash into the ruins offshore. I never see these shipwrecks, but sometimes, if I listen closely, I hear some ungodly screams. Heh, <laughs> poor fool is crying out for mercy from Umberly when she's got none. New bodies washed ashore late this afternoon. They were they was loaded with valuables, too. Some of them don't look much like sailors, but they're dead, and... Loaded all the, t the same, so they could be floating up from the hells for all I care. Another wreck of this week, or another week of this, and I can retire in a nice place far away, maybe the Sword Coast. I hear Neverwinter's a nice place. <laughs> Hiding behind a bush has a right to this. Umberly, have mercy! I should have listened to the that man, that man fent to me, and not stayed here past dusk. I just got carried away and didn't notice the time. Then some black swirling eye just appeared on the shore, and evil creatures from hells came and started walking into it and getting stuck inside. Dear God, if I survive this night, I'll pack up my fishing gear and never return. Something tells me he did not. And yes, I know it's a trap. I don't care. Uh, alchemical silver dagger. Interesting. Can I not... Carson's is falling under. You can't reach for, for it from here. We can't talk to whatever this is. And it's weird. There's a bunch of them out there. Like some kind of sea monster. Uh, there's some stuff here. A beached corpse. Let's go find out what this is. Whoa! Hey, guys. I wanted to use this. Oh, yeah. Suppression. Health the herp. Wow. A rat. Okay. Somebody summoned a horn devil. That's fine, I guess. 100 spirit energy again. I love that suppressor on these things. Good thing the land gives me a lot of these to fight against. Well, that was kind of a waste. Okay, well, let's go ahead and pick up the stuff they dropped. Some air, water. Of course, I should have known better that some spirits would come out. And some more stuff. I swear that Oku, you, you big ass bear, you always are in the way. Okay, let's check out this corpse. Armor. Studded leather armor plus four. Not bad, but not really needed. Let's check around. There is a beetle mound. Let's go check what this is. Beetles! Let's fight the beetles. Tenacious fire beetle. Holy crap. And that was unnecessary, but sure. 
take all this stuff off the beetles, I guess. Nom nom nom! Everything drops essences in this world. Or, well, not world, but this part of the world. Oku, can you... Can you move? Thank you. Okay, let's see. What else did we pick up? Meteor Swarm, it's a spell. We already have it. What's this? Sun Soul plus four. This is what I'm wearing right now. No, I have five. So those are pointless. You can have these, these, this, 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 some more of this. Uh, plus eight shield. Oh, that's kind of a nice... Too bad I can't wear shields. Well, I can wear shields, but... Too bad they're detrimental to my monk. Yes. Okay, let's combine some stuff. Use, combine, boom. Use, combine, boom. Use, combine... Holy crap, we got a lot of those. Use, combine... And it'll do everything in the stack that it can. Divide by six, I guess. Use combine. Use combine. Nope, not that. Use combine these. Oh, I keep hitting the wrong one, folks. <laughs> Use combine some of this. Here. Use combine these. We have ten of these. Use combine these. Can we do those? Yep, and we have six of these. Use combine these pristines. No, you can't get better than pristine. Let's examine. Pristine's the highest? Let's see. Three of these, Castro level 30. Mm. Corrosive weapon, bonus hit points, strength bonus, energy acid, and save bonus versus action attack, spell and rare elements, unarmed attack and damage bonus, acid, two properties. I don't have a lot of these spells though. Rings will give me versus acid. Rings, two benefits, and amulet and ring. This is our greater for given number of essences. Oh, okay. These are just brilliant. These are brilliant. Ooh, we can combine these. Use, combine. So, pristines are best. Let's see. These can give us frost weapon. Regeneration's really, really nice. Yeah, well, I'll have to look into that a little more. Later on, I'll get this all situated. I believe so. Okay, let's save. We've done some stuff. Save episode 20A. 20A. Uh, is there anything else out here that I can get to? See, I can't seem to get too much. What's the point of being out here if I can't do much? I guess we have to wait until... Nighttime. Let's, uh, wait until dusk, I guess. To dusk. We'll see what happens. We saved, so... There's the portal! Ah-ha-ha-ha! <laughs> well, let's go in here. Let's go into the Shadow Realm. I kinda thought we would run into more. That's cool. I'm glad it's still something. Okay, there's Fenton me. Now you've found the entrance to the sunken city, you must seek an audience with the slumbering coven to learn why Leanna brought you here. Okay, let's just look around though first. So lots of stuffs. Ah, he's under the water, we can't get to him. Because I'm sure because of the uh, change in... Uh, it's kind of weird that they have this here. These are all uninjured. Let's do this shit! You guys are all gonna die! One, I need to kill you. <laughs> That's really the only reason. I have plenty of spirit energy. 
I just want the experience, really. And at level 23, you can always use more experiences. And I do like having the fighter levels, though. You're just not gonna attack anything, or you're just gonna pretend that things aren't there? And they're all dead. Storms and More essences that you can shake a fist at. I love games that have enchanting abilities, but I also despise them because they're always based off of stuff, and you always want to hold off until you have enough. Ooh, count. Okay, let's. Yeah, let's save. <laughs> Episode 20B. Before we talk to what's his face over here, and to me, let's. Ooh, what's this? A beached corpse on this side we can get to. Ah, oh, Phantomy's gonna talk to me, okay. You made it here. I knew you didn't seem like the average beach combing adventurer. Who are you? Do you recall the fisherman on the beach when you first arrived at, in Lakeshore? I am he. I find it strange that a da Deo would waste his time fishing. If you know the Deo, then you are aware of our deep connection to the earth. Personally, I love plucking things from the water to the ground. Call me eccentric, but I've considered this small victory against the elemental plane of water. <laughs> In any case, I could use the services of one such as you, who managed to find their way here without any help. I have a business proposal. Uh, give me some information first, and I'll consider helping you. Certainly, though my knowledge of this place is limited, since I have never crossed the dock to Covier Kurganis. Why haven't you been there? Ah, well, my business here differs from that of these other petitioners, and I'd rather not draw attention to myself. If you don't want to stand out, shouldn't you put on a shirt? <laughs> if you're twice a man's height and wearing an outrageous turban, you're not drawing any attention to yourself, I assure you. Very droll. I simply dress in the fashion of my race, for you see here, if I were to do otherwise or adopt a disguise, it would ironically attract even more attention. Wisdom, alright, so you don't think I should try to sneak in there? Take a quick glimpse in the, at the entities that line the shore, each eagerly awaiting an opportunity to speak with the slumbering coven. Where the guards incline to allow you inside, an, e an even more varied array of creatures from the many planes will greet you. Nothing save for that which hides its true nature with the contrived appearance is truly out of place here. Alright, I want to know, okay, what is your business here? I run one of the largest gem mining operations in the Great Dismal Delve, but our daily yield has been reduced due to sabotage by one of my rivals. To recover my profits, I need a heavy lifter, a being of great strength and power, but easily controllable. That was very colorful way of saying you seek a slave. Uh, Oku might serve you. No. I do not tolerate slavery. Hey, we gain influence with Oku. Nor do I, a wretched spirit. I should liberate your head from your shoulders and free you of your foolish beliefs. Hey, I gained with Kaylin. Uh, Kaylin, our leader speaks for me as well. I indeed, you are not wise to talk of such things in my presence, Dial. Please, slavery is a distasteful descriptor and not appropriate in this case. Is a weapon you wield a slave to you? Uh, but a weapon is an inanimate object. Well, what about the oxen that hauled the materials used to create the weapon? Animals have feelings too. Alright, consider the golems that stand guard over the tower of the wizard who enchanted your weapon. Are they slaves? Uh, I cannot condemn No, I suppose not. They are simple tr simply tools to be used by their owners in order to spare mortal labor. I'm just looking for another tool myself. The da Dale has a point. The golems lack the self-awareness to really be a slave. There is a being that I can use beneath... Kavaya Karganis. It's among the mightiest of the Earth Elementals bound to this plane. What do you need me to do? I simply need you to vanquish the Earth Elemental in the skein bef beneath Kavaya Karganis so it will return to the Elemental Plane of Earth, where I have the means to bind it to my service. In exchange for your services, I will provide you with a key that will open the entrance leading directly to the skein. And when you return, I will pay you your weight in gold. It is beneath this place. Yes, it is in a place called the Skeen, in the lower depths of the building that houses this, uh, or person, or something. Uh, what do you know about the Skeen? I know very little since I have never been inside, much less beneath it. Okay. My Hague spawn contact who sold me the, the 
he offered a few details and when and he was taken away by the Hags before I had a chance to purchase more information from him. I know that scheme does not exist in the Plane of Shadow. The key unlocks a portal. Also, I was told that the scheme is partially flooded and therefore probably abandoned. Why is there an Earth Elemental in the scheme? I don't know the function it once served, but the ancient race of mortals that bound the Earth Elemental to this place are long dead. Uh, okay, talk about something else. Uh, okay, business proposal. I'll do it. Here's the key. You will find the entrance to the skein on the western side of this place, near here in Nightshore. Just walk to the end of the dock and veer right. Alright, farewell, bye. Return to me once you've slain the earth elemental in the skein. Do not fail me and you'll be handsomely rewarded. Count Crow in a coffin. Oh, it's a... Well, we're going to this beach corpse. Oh, elementals! Malignant elementals! Kill them! It's been set five minutes since the battle. We need we need more ex experience and stuff. I don't even know how much these are giving us. Uh, 196, not horrible. Give me this corpse. Give me this stuff. Gauntlet. Gloves of the Long Death plus three. I have better. I have plus five sacred hands with the ability to heal. This is Robe of the Dark Moon. This might be good for me. Mm, no. Concentration minus one. Use in haste. Fight it. No, that's horrible. Why would you ever want that? Put that on that page. What is this? Oh, it's just obsidian. All right, let's go uh, over here. There's one more corpse. It's a folding corpse we can't get to. Healer's kit and some stuff. Before we talk to this vampire servant, because that's what I'm guessing this is. More? Oh, Tethor rat. Teth Telthor rats. Attack them, because I don't want to be attacked by rats. Thank you. Okay. Don't need to use big spells against these. Whoa, Count. Back, back. Stay away from the Count. Gross, filthy mortals. I'm fighting. Count Crow's Roost is in the coffin? This is no mere coffin, mortal. It was carved out of solid ash and wood pine from a tree containing the essence of a genius, Loki. It was enchanted by the Count himself and is quite impenetrable, and his lock can only be opened from within the coffin. I think Kaji could open this lock. His tiny hands can reach where human hands cannot. What? You still linger here? Like stink over a bog? Be gone! Who is Count Crow Roost? You truly don't know? Then it is best that you may remain ignorant. For your own sake, back away from the Count. I'm not anywhere near it. Uh, what are you gonna do about it? I need not do anything. Your lowly presence will disturb the Count's slumber, and he will awaken angry and thirsty for your blood. Show some respect, or I'll have to teach you a lesson. Try to harm me all you wish. My bond, bond with the Count makes me indestructible. Well, I'm not going to kill you. I guess as a lawful good character, though, I'd want to kill the vampire, but I don't know if we can take him on or not. And we'd have to summon Kaji again. And I haven't done that yet, for specific reasons. Oh, short sword, plus four. And yeah, unidentified scroll, summon creature nine. I said that with such conviction. Nine? Yes. You cannot learn it, because you can't learn summons, that's Step right. with me. Come on. Follow along. There's a couple more bodies out there that we can't reach, and that's fine. Okay, so if we are going to do this, we're going to possibly have a really bad time. Oh, I missed these too, I guess. I didn't pick this up, and this should all be water. So folks, should I, should I beat it up? Should I do it? I should. I think I should. But, uh, we will go ahead and save, and we'll do that in the next episode. <laughs> episode 20. Thanks for watching, everybody. As always, I appreciate it, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.